So, hello there everyone and welcome, it is Niran here and today it is time for to welcome you to today's video and with FIFA 19 around the corner as I'm sure you might well have guessed from my channel recently thought it would be quite a cool and interesting idea to predict some of the best wonder kids and just general best players going into FIFA 19 career mode who is going to have the highest potential going into that game feel free to predict down in the comment section below but if you go on to enjoy the video then of course make sure to slap a like on it and subscribe if you are new to the channel. There's plenty of contenders, amazing World Cup performers, players who have had ridiculous seasons in real life and just general absolute golden talents both on FIFA and of course in real life too. We're going to count down from 10. So first of all we've got Christian Pulisic. He is the first guy in this video from Borussia Dortmund. Now I've given him a predicted potential of 90 but there's plenty of others the likes of Deli Ali, Marcus Rashford and a couple of others and Federico Chiesa and stuff that you won't see in this video. I also would think they would have 90 potential but just given Christian Pulisic's season I'm gonna put him in the video think of him maybe as joint tenth with some of the guys that I mentioned there but Pulisic has actually got an interesting stat to his name this season I think in his age group he is the best in any of the top five European leagues for a sit for expected assists sorry which takes into account chances created and obviously the assists you then get in a season as well it's a nice way of sort of factoring out terrible misses from the strikers that you're playing with so Pulisic is actually top of that for his age group so very interesting had a very good season for Dortmund despite being like a little bit injury hit or like not necessarily playing every single game so good season as far as Pulisic is concerned I reckon he'll have 90 potential uh, Vinicius Jr is in at number nine now we can't obviously have any gameplay for him from V for 18 because he isn't actually in the game but the Brazilian wonder kid I mean this guy is hailed for incredible things he's just signed for Real Madrid of course for between 40 and 50 million pounds at the age of I think it was 17 was when he was signed it might have even been 16 I think uh, no it was it was 17 he was 17 when he got signed he's 18 now and I'm gonna predict this guy's gonna have 91 potential as a winger I know it's ridiculous for his first entrance into FIFA but just think about it whenever Real Madrid sign a player like this they always have ridiculous potential same for Barcelona so I reckon EA will jump on the bandwagon and give him a potential of 91 going forward into FIFA 19 I'll be very interested to see what he is like on FIFA 19 and let me know what you think his overall rating at the start of the game will be down in the comment section below and in a number eight though we've got Matis De Ligt the first and I think only defender actually in this video now he's 79 rated at the start of FIFA I think that'll get a little bit of a boost anyway to maybe 80 or 81 but he's obviously still so unbelievably young is the Ajax center back and I've actually predicted him to have a potential of 91 on FIFA 19 which I think is plus one to what he has right now on the current update of FIFA 18 career mode which is 90 so upgrade so far for Pulisic and De Ligt and obviously a new entry in the form of Vinicius Jr from Real Madrid very solid defender though is De Ligt. ridiculous defensive stats good strength obviously as well he's also got decent enough passing stats I suppose if you want to play him as a holding mid he's not too bad there but realistically and in, in terms of officially he can only play as a center back can the Ajax man in at number seven we've got this man here Leon Bailey another sort of new entry into the top 10 as far as potential are concerned but this guy has had an unreal season over in the Bundesliga for Bayer Leverkusen 82 rated on current FIFA 18 can play on both wings very pacey unbelievable dribbler obviously as well decent shooting and finishing on the Jamaican youngster as well I'm predicting him to also have a potential of 91 going into the next FIFA his current uh, potential sorry his current overall is 82 but his current potential is 89 and given his current overall is so high given his age I just feel like it would be fair to give him a slightly higher potential and he's had a ridiculous season in his first year would you believe in the Bundesliga like he has been unbelievable I think he scored 12 goals and got uh, like double figure assists as well in his first season over there so really really good player four star weak foot four star skill moves expecting big things from him on FIFA 19 career mode same for this man here, yet another winger, Leroy Sane. Now, if you've seen my Manchester City ratings predictions video, which will be in the top right of the screen for those that haven't, you'll know that I predicted this guy to have 92 potential on FIFA 19. He's 85 rated currently 
on FIFA is the German who of course didn't go to the World Cup but still had an unbelievable season picking up PFA Young Player of the Year in the Premier League as Manchester City went on to win the title. Yeah, I predicted him to stay at 92 in terms of his potential. I think his potential is very fair right now. I think he will develop into one of the best players in the world and I'm, hence I feel like EA will stick to that sort of level of potential if you like. So Leroy Sane is in at number six for Manchester City right now. And you'll see as we move on in a second, Manchester City is a little bit of a theme in the middle of this video because we've now got his Brazilian teammate, Gabi Jesus, the striker who is 83 overall. And again, I've predicted him to have 92 potential as well. So, I mean, Gabi Jesus again has had a ridiculous season. Sane picking up double figures in terms of goals and assists. Gabi Jesus, I think, getting 13 goals in the league. Uh, as a 20 year old is just utterly ridiculous so he's 83 overall currently and has a potential of 92 and like Leroy Sane I have left that potential exactly the same to stay at 92. I think both of them will genuinely become world beaters and obviously if they do reach those sorts of heights Manchester City are going to be extremely formidable not only in England but domest not domestically not only domestically but also in terms of the European stage as well. Four star skill moves, four star weak foot, high attacking and defensive work rates for him. I imagine he'll keep those going into FIFA 19 and hopefully he'll keep that potential as well. Up into the top four now and Ousmane Dembele is next up with another a potential of 92 for the Barcelona man. No change once again for him. Had a bit of an injury hit season. Obviously he had that knee injury as soon as he joined from Borussia Dortmund but he still looked pretty impressive as the Frenchman. 83 overall currently on FIFA. I imagine he'll probably stay very similar to that. Maybe get a boost to 84 but... To be honest, I think he might well stay at 83. I don't know, 83 or 84 probably. Again, if you want to predict that down in the comments section, that is absolutely fine. But potential-wise, I reckon he's going to have 92. You can see, unfortunately, he has got the trait of injury-prone given that injury at the start of the season. I do remember him having too many knocks and grazes whilst he was with Borussia Dortmund, though. So that might be a little bit unfair as far as traits are concerned. But hopefully, even if he doesn't keep his potential rating, let's hope he keeps those 5-star weak foot and 5-star skill moves. Because that's going to be insane. Not only in career mode, but obviously in all ultimate team as well. On to the podium places and the top three now, Marco Asensio is next up, the Real Madrid winger attacking mid uh, sort of combo. He's 84 rated at the moment on career mode and has a potential I think of 92 right now. I've actually boosted that by plus one to 93. I think he's got 92 potential right now but I, yeah as I mentioned I boosted it to 93 regardless. He's 21 years of age but this kid genuinely looks as if he'll be a bit of a world beater if I'm going to be honest with you. Him and Isco are formidable in terms of midfielders that Real Madrid are going to have in their prime like that is ridiculous and obviously same for Spain as well. They're both Spanish players so going forward those two are going to be unbelievable as number 10 slash wingers slash just attackers forwards midfielders whatever position you play them in they're going to be formidable but Asensio I have given the third best or joint second best actually potential uh, for FIFA 19. Predicting the same potential for Gianluigi Donnarumma here of AC Milan. He's 82 overall at the start of the game. I think actually at the start of FIFA 18 he had a potential of 94. I think it's been moved down to 93. I swear he had a potential of 94. Regardless of that it's 93 right now and I'm leaving it the same in that regard. So Donnarumma with a potential of 93. Hopefully, again, he'll keep a very similar overall and he'll be an absolute monster once again in FIFA 19 career mode. He genuinely looks the real deal as far as goalkeepers are concerned. He could genuinely become the best goalkeeper in the world. Obviously, he might not... He might not be of a generation of Manuel Neuer. You might see the end of Neuer before you see Donnarumma at his peak, so that'll be a bit frustrating. But you might see uh, Donnarumma versus De Gea situation as far as the best goalkeeper in the world is concerned. And I look forward to that fight realistically. But in at number one, it's no real surprise after his exploits at the World Cup. Kylian Mbappe Lottin, fresh off the back of winning the biggest cup in world football uh, as a teenager is going to have a ridiculous potential, especially given he absolutely lit up that tournament and really, really made a name for himself. Like, he announced himself fully on the world stage at that World Cup. So, currently has a potential of 94. I was toying with the idea of giving him 94 and 95. I wasn't really able to decide between them, but to be honest, I think 95 would be almost unheard of. I think only two players have ever had 95 or above potential in career mode history. So that might be a little bit over the top. So 94 is more a realistic goal, but I think 95 is 
equally, you know, is equally possible realistically, especially, e I mean, EA love to jump on bandwagons and hype trains, and the ultimate hype train right now is on Kylian Mbappe Lottin. Regardless, he's going to have a very good overall. I would expect him to be at least 85, maybe even 86 going into FIFA 19. And a potential, probably 94, but maybe even 95. You never know. Regardless of that, though, that's your top 10 predicted wonder kids for FIFA 19. Let me know what your predictions are down in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed the video, slap a like on it. And if you're new around here, subscribe to the channel. It's the big red button under the video, and it really helps me out. You can also follow me on social media these days, too. My Twitter handle and Insta are at the official FNG and links are down below. But it's been a pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a great day, enjoy yourselves, and goodbye.